welcome to The Thrive Show. My name is Kim O'Neill, and today I have with me Janet Sandberg. Janet is an energy alchemist and intuitive business coach who helps women align their energy and access their inner knowing so that they can create more joy, success, and abundance in their lives and businesses. As a medium and Reiki master teacher, she has been working with energy for over 30 years, and today she's going to talk to us about getting unstuck. Welcome, Janet. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Kim. Absolutely. I was about to say welcome right back at you, and then that, that's not right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's totally fine. So I, I want to just first ask you, when a person is feeling stuck, and we've all had experience of you know, what that feels like, uh, talk to us about what's energetically happening in that moment. Um, generally, it means that our energy is not flowing the way that it should. So we all have energy inside of us. There's like energy out there and there's energy in here. And when ours is not flowing right, then nothing else flows in our life and we just feel stuck. Mm. Okay. So knowing that everything is energy, um, what are some aspects of life that you notice people tend to forget that everything is energy that might be contributing to those having that experience of feeling stuck? Oh gosh, like everything. <laughs> uh, I think I think generally people forget that that they need the, like you're not just naturally aligned and flowing all the time, um, right. and that it actually takes work to to stay that way. Um, like like anything, you know, you don't you don't you're not naturally cavity free unless you're brushing your teeth every day. Right. Right. So it's the same with your energy. You're not going to be naturally aligned because we have all of these external forces acting on us all the time that knock us sideways or, or disrupt our flow. So unless we actively work to bring ourselves back into that flow, it's just not going to happen. Well, how does self love play a role in getting unstuck? Well, I mean, it, it, that is our, our very basic way of, of feeding and nourishing our energy is by, by loving ourselves, by taking care of ourselves, by understanding that, that we're worthy and deserving of love and success and, you know, all of that. That is, that is the number one primary foundation of everything, really you know, what are your thoughts about how a person can infuse more self-love into their life for greater flow? Yeah. And there's a difference between self-care and self-love also. So self-care, people tend to think about getting like manicures and pedicures and they're taking a bubble bath or getting a massage. And like all of those things are wonderful. And uh, like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that is a very different thing than self-love where we are, are, are feeding our soul and really nourishing our energy in a way that helps us to appreciate ourselves and love ourselves for who we are. What are some additional ways a person can get back into that space of flow for their energy? Well, taking, taking time for yourself every day to, to do little things to raise your vibration, we like to say. So to make our energy feel as elevated so that we're, we're trying to match our energy to the, the frequency of like the big universal energy out there. Um, and that can be done in really simple ways. It can be done through like walking barefoot in the grass. It can be through breathing exercises. Um, you know, if you, if you study more energetic things, you can get into things like tapping or doing Reiki on yourself. You know, there's, there's different levels, but there's like easy things to do to start. Um, and then, you know, you can kind of go from there depending on how, how, uh, how much learning you want to do. Okay. Okay. And, and I love that you were talking about simple things they can do, like just being outside in nature and, and active and things like that. Because for someone else who's thinking, yes, I know, I know that it would serve me to be in alignment with the universe's energy. That can sound like a really big thing. Like, uh Oh, what does that mean? Right? How do I do that? Yeah. It doesn't mean that you have to go pay a professional, you know, you don't have to go have a, have a Reiki session or, you know, some other, you know, get your bars aligned or anything like that. You, there are so many ways that we can do simple things for ourselves. 
Um, like one of, one of my favorite things is just to, you know, sit with my feet flat on the floor and imagine like white light filling me up from my feet all the way up. Um, or some people prefer to do it, you know, starting in your heart center and having it flow outwards, you know, whichever feels better for you. It doesn't really matter, but like even doing that and you just feel yourself lighter and brighter in just a matter of seconds. I love that. I'm definitely going to, I have my own exercises, but I'm going to try it, what you just described uh, with the white light. I love that. Well, talk to us about the role patience and faith plays in getting unstuck. That is all about letting go and, and knowing that, you know, having trust in the universe is what that means and having trust in yourself that you actually do know what you're doing. Like you're here for a reason that reason is in you at all times and you have to trust that's that inner knowing piece. Um, and, and being able to trust, like so many of us, just so many people try to control everything all the time. And that just creates more stuckness. Um, right. You know, there's, there's that um, metaphor, you know, with the hands, like if you're holding on and you're trying to control things, well, nothing else can get in because your hands are closed. But when you let go and you have that faith and that trust, then your hands are open and you can allow more to come in. Also, if you have any sort of crystals around, if you happen to have a quartz crystal, mm. those work amazingly well because they're, they're clear themselves, like a clear quartz crystal. So they also help to clarify your energy. So double whammy, if you do that white light exercise and you hold a clear quartz, quartz crystal to your heart center, then it just like makes that white light sort of explode through your body. Would you be open to walking us through just a, a short little exercise of, of facilitating that process of white light? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So you would just start with placing your feet flat on the ground, making sure that nothing is crossed. You don't want your hands interlocked or your ankles crossed or anything that helps with the flow. And then you just close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Let go of all of the ickiness with the exhale. And then you can place your hands over your heart center. Holding that crystal in your hand if you happen to have one. And then with every inhale, you want to imagine the white light growing in your heart center. And every time you inhale, it grows a little bit more and it spreads out a little bit more until after five or six breaths, that white light has spread and filled up our entire bodies to our fingertips and our toes and it's shining out the top of our head and joining us with the universe. And it's that simple. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking time to do that with us. Appreciate that. Thank you. Well, Janet, thank you for sharing your expertise and wisdom with us today. It really was a treat. And thank you to our audience today. We hope you found value in today's conversation. Thanks so much for having me.